In this video, we compare two different methods of performing fiber splicing with using two different types of the fiber optic cable and different splice machines. In the first method, we're going to use single fiber splice. For the second method, we're going to use the ribbon fiber splice. Our goal is to determine where there is a significant time step for each of these methods. To make fair comparison, we will be splicing following. Double jacket OptiPack 24 fiber cable to Janos double size splicing module equipped with 24 individual single mode fiber pigtails. Double jacket OptiRibbon 24 fiber cable to Janos double sized ribbon module equipped with two ribbon single mode pigtails. Here is Manuel and he will show us both methods. Oi Manuel, tudo bem? Ready to show us? Olá, Demi. Por mim tudo bem, obrigado. Uh, parece que um, não tenho nada melhor que fazer do que tentar mostrar uh, como se faz a emenda de fibras. Por isso, vamos dar início. Sounds very good. Let's start. The preparation is the same for both methods. To perform splicing, Manuel prepares the cable by removing 2.5 meter of the cable's outer jacket. He places the rubber grommet on the jacket transition, though insulation tape can also be used. Leaving approximately 1 meter of inner jacket, Manuel removes it, allowing bare fibers to be coiled inside the module. He attaches the inner jacket to the module and secures ceramic yarns with the screw. Once the cable fixed, Manuel applies splice protectors on pigtails. As a next step, he strips around 3 cm of cladding and cleans it with IPA and lint free cleaning tissues. He puts fiber into splicer. Manuel takes the fiber from the cable and performs the same operations stripping, cleaning, and cleaving. If the cleaving was done correctly, the fusion splicing proceeds. After splicing, Manuel checks the quality of the splice, applies the splice protector over the spliced area and places it in the oven. While the splice protector shrinks in the oven, he starts to work on the next fiber. Once all fibers are spliced, Manuel places splice protectors inside the holder. Then, he coils the fibers. The module is now ready to be inserted into the chassis. In this method, manual splices flat ribbons from module's pigtail to flexible ribbons from Opti ribbon cable. Firstly, he places ribbon protectors on the ribbon pigtail. He uses the thermal stripper to remove the matrix resin from flat ribbons and also from Opti ribbon. Manuel cleans each end, lifts each ribbon and places them into ribbon holders.
After performing the splicing, it checks the quality of the splice and applies the heat ring over the spliced area. Then he places the heat ring in the oven. Once all fibers are spliced, he coils them inside the module, making it ready to be inserted into the chassis. As you observed, the 24 fiber termination took 45 minutes with using single fiber splicer. They took just 12 minutes with using ribbon fiber spline. Manuel saved 30 minutes, which he can spend in drinking coffee with colleagues. Great work, Manuel!